New tonight, a federal lawsuit claims the Fulton County school system enabled a child predator. Former teacher Robert Vandal was convicted and sentenced this year for rape and molestation. But lawyers suing the district and its charter school say campus officials are the ones that sharing the blame. Atlanta News First investigator Sierra Cummings has a copy of the lawsuit and Sierra, it alleges the victims face discrimination. It does. The, ar the lawsuit argues Fulton Academy of Science and Technology, or FAST, should have never hired or allowed the teacher to keep his job. By doing so, the school is accused of violating Title IX. That's a federal law mandating the right to safe education, regardless of sex. Federal law says that they have to provide an educational environment for little girls that is just as safe as they do for little boys. In this case, they just turned their back on these female students. After Atlanta News First investigations for the past two years, Michael Moore just filed this federal lawsuit claiming Fulton Academy of Science and Technology, or FAST, failed to listen to repeated complaints from young girls about Robert Vandal. These kids were more than just kids to me. We previously uncovered this audio of the former educator. In 2020, the state agency tasked with teacher certification interrogated Vandal on the phone. They'd been reviewing what investigators called disturbing emails and comments the then 63-year-old sent eighth graders. You said that uh, if you were there, you would put a hickey on her neck. <laughs> no, sir. We found this came after Vandal already had misconduct complaints spanning nearly 20 years across seven different Georgia school systems. The call led to the state revoking his teaching license, but it came too late for this family. She was raped in her science classroom by her science teacher. And now five days a week, she goes into school, into classrooms, and has to sit in a similar desk and attempt to learn. The now convicted felon was sentenced to 10 years in that case. The parents filed their own separate civil suit against the school. But this new federal one is connected to a second victim who brought complaints to campus leaders who said Vandal would be mortified to hear how she perceived his behavior and blamed her for wearing uniform pants too tight, the lawsuit alleges. Despite police and personnel records showing a trail of allegations left behind as he moved from district to district, Moore maintains the Fulton school system showed deliberate indifference. He grooms them, he prepares them for this, and then just like a predator, he goes in after his prey, and that's ultimately what these children were. In effect, you believe they enabled a predator? I don't think there's any question about it. And FAST denies all allegations. They sent me a statement today saying in part that they are committed to uncompromised safety and security, but that they cannot comment further on pending litigation. Meanwhile, the Fulton County School District says FAST is a separate entity uh, required to vet and hire its own staff independently. This case could take years. In downtown Atlanta, I'm Sierra Cummings, Atlanta News First. And years